let's go for a third one. So there is a question like, you have to enable LED HA on the cluster somehow. They mentioned which cluster, maybe you have more than one cluster in there. And actually they said, put it all holes into that cluster, which is you have normally two or three E6R hosts in there. And configure or double check that configuration of Vmotion if there isn't any problem, uh, which is you can find in there or not. And after that, that ESXi blah, 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 and ESXi blah, 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 two, for example, uh, shouldn't be run on the same ESXi holes. And in the end, they ask you regarding when that virtual machine called anything, uh, while it's run, that user can increase that CPU and memory inside that actually virtual machine on a virtual machine configuration. So for the purposes, I use again that uh, hands-on lab experience there. And I log into vCenter 01A, like before. And here, first of all, I think already the cluster is there, but without any configuration. And there is a two host, E6I number one, a and 2A already member of that cluster. And you have to first of all double check that DRS and HA is there or not. So as you can see, the DRS is not there, HA is not there. And so for the purposes, simply edit, enable. Don't touch anything else except they ask you. For example, I don't know for a host isolation, enable it and configure it. Or for a VM monitoring also, configure it. And how many times that virtual machine can reboot during that, I don't know, 12 hours or 24 hours, okay? Also about that admission control, heartbeat data source and advanced options. If they don't ask you, don't touch it, simply enable it, finish. Okay, that's it. For the purposes also, I try to enable the DRS. I like to have it fully automate. Don't touch anything else and say, okay, that's all. There is a three virtual machine, the tiny Linux, tiny Linux two and Windows 10. So, and they ask about the Vmotion configuration, for example. I choose the D6R number one directly goes to that configuration I minimize that and check first of all the TCP IP configuration for example we have that vmotion here like 10 10 31 and there is a VM kernel adapter also for a TCP IP stack enabled for vmotion also and if I want to see that all like that, and also the default gateway is inherited by uh, the gateway, which is we set it already that like 10, 10, 31, it's okay. And I directly goes for a second host. So I have that vMotion TCP IP stack there. Also here is in some cool view you have like IP address and configuration and also default gateway, so here you can also double check that system stack is enabled here, like that 10, 10, 31. And it means if I want to migrate that virtual machine, for example, Windows 10, from E6i2 to E6i1, it shouldn't really big deal for that. I changed that compute resource only and E6I number two, next, 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 finish. Let me check the toolbar here. And, ah, it was on E6I two, sorry. 
I want to migrate it to E6 I want. I forget it. Okay. And finish. So 35, 39, 48. So that depends on how virtual machine have that resource there. So now that's run on E6 I number one. It means we make sure with that kind of migration, VM migration, to the other ESXi host workloads, so that vMotion has not any problem at all. So the other question is, put that some situation in there inside the cluster, which is the tiny Linux and tiny Linux tool lives separated on the different ESXi host. For the purposes, also there is a configuration on cluster called VM host rules. You can create the VM host rules, simply click on add and say, for example, sep underscore VM and make sure that checkbox also marked as an enable rule because if you don't enable that, that never happened on your, on, on your cluster. So make sure that ch that checkbox is, has an tick, check, check mark, and as in a type, simply I choose it, separate virtual machines, and add. Simply I add that, which is ask me on a question, for example, on a, they say tiny Linux and tiny Linux two, and I said, okay, Okay, and finish. That's there. Also, here is a description, like if there isn't any conflict in there or not, and that has the two virtual machine inside. Well, let me maximize that. Yeah. So now I want to check the status of both hosts. They are living here on E6 I2, and also the other one is E6 I2. So I migrate or no, just simply let it like, like that. Ah, huh? that happened. Look, that migrating that virtual machine automatically by that VM rules, you know? And now they are separating on a different ESXi host by that VM rules, which is you created already. Good. It means also that that can prove there is no problem at all on vMotion things. For for last question, they ask you, for example, that Windows 10 virtual machine must be actually enabled like function called hot add, like that hot add resources. Simply, it doesn't necessarily to safely shutting down. That's in a lab. I was for edit settings on that, and for that purposes, you have to shut down that virtual machine. When that virtual machine is run, you can't increase the resource, or even you can't enable that function here. And I expand that CPU. You can see here is a CPU hot plug, and you can enable that CPU hot add. Also, I will do that for memory hot plug there enable that's it okay so check that result complete and again i power on that virtual machine when you power on that virtual machine you have to make sure by that again edit settings and configuration you can increase amount of resources there like cpu and memory which is you enable that hot add already so i goes again to that edit settings expand that as you can see you can ex actually choose and increase the amount of cpu here and also for a memory you can touch it for example up to 4 gb or whatever you want okay and if i want to compare with the virtual machine, which is that function is not enabled for that. I goes for edit settings. You can see that's in gray out. Even you expanded, you can't increase that. And also for a memory, same. You can't increase that except 
you enable that hot plug resources there. That's a good function for a critical virtual machine, which is you can't somehow shutting down or, or down for a while for increasing the amount of resources there. So we did all. I hope you enjoyed that. Stay with me for the next question.